Elder Scrolls Online is getting out its crayons and colouring in a new playable chunk of Tamriel for players to explore. That region is the ancestral home of the High Elves, a place known as Somerset. No, not that one. Somerset will be yours to roam around when the expansion launches in June, but in the meantime, here's a quick primer on what players need to know before they step onto the sandy beaches of this newest update. Somerset is a region unlike any seen in Elder Scrolls before, but it isn't technically the first time you've been able to visit. That is, so long as you played Elder Scrolls Arena, which was the very first game in the Elder Scrolls series, released all the way back in 1994. Back then, Somerset looked like this, and incredibly, while other regions of Tamriel have been made thoroughly explorable since then, this is the first time since Arena that the home of the High Elves will be featured in-game. It looks like those elves have had the decorators in during that time, because things are a lot less blocky these days. High Elves, also known as Ultima, are one of the main playable races throughout the Elder Scrolls series, and the Somerset Isles are their homeland. These islands are made up of three chunks. There's Somerset, which is the main new explorable area, Arteum, which we'll get onto shortly, and Oridon to the east, which you can already visit in Elder Scrolls Online. The Somerset Isles are the oldest continuously lived-in region of Tamriel, and it's rumoured to be where magic was born, which is just one possible reason for why High Elves are so unbearably smug all the time. Another could be that they have great cheekbones. We'd love to ask, but frankly, the Ultima probably wouldn't deign to discuss it with a puny human, who they consider inferior, the Charmers. More on that later too. Its beauties hidden from foreign eyes. By decree of Iren, Queen of the High Elves. Somerset is ruled by the young Queen Iren, who's responsible for founding the Old Mary Dominion, which is one of the three playable factions in Elder Scrolls Online. In the fiction of the game, this dominion is an alliance between the Ultma, the Bosma or Wood Elves, and the Khajiit, set up because Iren and others were worried about the terrible damage that younger races like the Race of Men could wreak. Maybe she got caught in a shopping centre on Black Friday. How much you'll see of Iren in the Somerset expansion is a mystery. Running the Dominion and having such great taste in pointy helmets is a full-time job, so it's likely we'll have more dealings with the proxy queen Alwinawe, who resides in the capital city of Alinor. Despite her wariness regarding enemies elsewhere in Tamriel, Queen Iren has opened up the gates to the normally closed off fantasy land of Somerset, a bit like Elsa does at the end of Disney's Frozen, which is all the evidence we need to start fan theorising that the Elder Scrolls and Frozen are rooted in the same fictional world. This expansion marks the first time in forever that foreigners have been allowed into Somerset, bearing in mind that Elder Scrolls Online is set quite some time before the events of Arena, when, as we mentioned, you could wander around at your leisure. <laughs> And what a region awaits any foreigners who do make the trip. The delightfully named Shimmerine will be your first port of call, a port town with dreaming spires and beautiful bridges. Outside, you'll find acres of lush fields bathed in sunshine. Although, as we always say, don't let your countryside stroll be ruined by an eight-foot-long salamander. This chap should have taken our advice. Just along the coast, you'll find a coral forest, where tree-sized, shell-embedded outcrops of sandy coral are just begging to get on your Instagram feed. Somerset looks like a paradise then, but there's a darker side to the Altmare homeworld, as foreigners will soon discover. The Queen might have declared Somerset open for business, but not all of her subjects got the memo. As soon as you start exploring Shimmerine, you'll learn that there are influential Altmer who can't stand the idea of people from other parts of Tamriel living and working alongside them. One such is Kin Lady Avenis, who would rather than Nabara, as she calls them, slang meaning unwelcome, were forcibly detained until their suitability for life in Somerset has been evaluated. Unfortunately, the Kin Lady should have spent less time on her elaborate eye makeup and more time considering the company she keeps, because her closed minded attitude has, as this very early quest reveals, left her vulnerable to being exploited by those who follow the Daedric Princes of Oblivion, otherworldly entities who are about as wholesome as they sound. <laughs> 
Aldark Tilkalar here boasts of having received power from the Prince of Bargains, which suggests he's made a deal with Daedric Prince Clavicus Vile, although presumably that deal didn't include immunity to being firewhipped. What an oversight. <laughs> Racial intolerance and sinister magic mean that while Somerset may look peaceful, danger lurks around every corner. Somerset isn't just home to the kind of powers that require bargaining with oblivion princes, it's also said to be the starting place of all magic in Tamriel and you'd be hard pushed to find a more magical spot than the Isle of Arteum. I mean, unless you mean a more magical spot for a picnic, because then we'd recommend this little stretch of beach. Ooh, so secluded. Arteum is another newly explorable island in the Somerset expansion, and it's one with plenty of history. This bizarre bit of land has been appearing and disappearing for hundreds of years, and is said to exist outside of normal time and space. At the time of the game, it's been out to lunch for 300 years, but it's just appeared again, presumably because there's some supernatural trouble brewing. <laughs> We'd wager this distinctly un-islandy behaviour is down to its residents, the Sijic Order, who are the founders of magic in Tamriel. If you opt to join the Sijic Order, they'll teach you time-bending spells like Undo, which is the power to set your health, stamina and magicka back to how they were four seconds in the past. Nifty. In the darkened remains of my home. Your home needs you now more than ever. Not everything on Somerset is freaky and new. In fact, when you step ashore, you'll soon meet Elder Scrolls fan favourite Razum Dar, a Khajiit super spy who, as if that wasn't cool enough already, has a spectacular red mohawk and a mandate from Queen Irene to find out how the locals are dealing with her new decree. As an agent of the Eyes of the Queen, the charming Raz is only too happy to delegate some of his duties to you, and will have you poking around Shimmerine to find out how new arrivals are being treated. He says he's busy with other matters as well, but they appear to mostly involve perfecting his laid-back lean. Come on, Raz, it's already perfect. So now you're up to speed on Somerset, the newest expansion to Elder Scrolls Online, and some of the drama you can expect to see unfolding when you rock up on the Altmare homeland. Are you looking forward to Somerset? Let us know in the comments, and please do hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this. Right, we've got to go. This Frozen slash Elder Scrolls theory won't pin itself to a corkboard, you know.